Good. Well, we're excited that you're going to join us for uh, early morning prayer here. We're going to be doing something a little bit different over the next 21 days. Normally, we would just kind of set this atmosphere with some worship music and just kind of allow you to do wh whatever you want to do. But we're actually going to put some framework to this over the next 21 days. And so um, let me kind of explain a couple things we're going to do. Um, a little devotional here on the front end every single morning. It's going to be led by one of our staff and ministry leaders every morning. Uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time in worship, and we're just going to put some music on for you to worship to, and then we're going to have a, a specific time where where we just pray. And, um, you know, every single one of you guys hopefully got one of these Pray First books, so uh, a lot of you are probably seasoned prayer warriors and you have a pattern that you pray, but for a lot of people, they don't know, hey, like 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes to pray is a long time. And so inside of this book, there are a lot of different prayer models that you can follow with actual even prayers in there. So you can think about people, you can f fill out information on the back and pray for specific things. We want to really equip you in this season to be able to maximize your opportunity to put God first in your life. And so everything that we can do to resource you in that, uh, we want to do. And every single day um, on this little bookmark that we, we hope you use is an actual prayer focus. And so today that, that focus is on, you know, um, our worship night. But more than anything today, what we really want to do is we wanted to put the focus on like, hey, how are we putting God first? How are we making him the ultimate in our life and making him the the center of everything and so we just want to be able to take some time and do that here today and so i wanted to i wanted to be able to start off this morning and and share a little bit because my heart as the pastor of this church is that this really would be what jesus said his house would be a house of prayer it'd be a place where everything that's happening in the natural happens in the supernatural first and and, you know, we're, we're seeing some tremendous things happening in our church right now. And, and I believe that that's attributed to, to prayer that's been happening in our church. Uh, I, I know Ivan Molina, oh, there, there you are. Ivan and Molina right here, he's one of our elders. He and I have been praying every single morning, almost like clockwork. We've maybe missed a couple of Wednesday mornings, but for over nine and a half years, we have gathered every Wednesday morning. We've prayed and we've asked God to show up and bring transformation in people's lives, salvation, healing, restoration, and uh, and we're we're seeing tremendous tremendous things. And we believe that that is just the beginning. But all of that is taking place because we prayed that into place. That isn't taking place because of happenstance. That isn't taking place because you know we're we we just put on a good show on Sunday, it's, it's happening because we're a house of prayer. And, uh, you know, we want to establish that more. And so I'm thankful for you all showing up. And uh, I, I'm thankful that we're getting an opportunity to connect to a whole bunch of our Pompano Beach people over there. I want to just say welcome to you guys through, through Facebook Live and whatever other medium you're connecting to us with. But I just wanted to share something this morning. It's probably my favorite psalm that's out there it's psalm 103 and uh it, it's one through five and it's just you know when i i need to to get my heart in the right place i always come back to this psalm and it says this it says bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name and i, I when i first read that i was like bless the lord how how can I literally bless the Lord? The Lord is supposed to bless me. And I started thinking about the greatest blessing that I can be to God is be all about God. I can make him my ultimate. And it says, oh, my soul. He said, and listen, this isn't about just the facade that we put on. This isn't about just the works that we do because that doesn't really bless God. What God wants from me more than ever, anything is all of me. The depths of me, not just my works, not just my actions, but he wants my heart more than anything. He wants the depth of my heart. And the more willing I am to open up my life for every aspect to him, the greater he's blessed by my life. It says, so bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that was in, in me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. And this is, 
this is the part that originally got me because I like benefits. Uh, it's, maybe you guys feel the same way, but I, I like benefits. And, uh, and so he goes on to list a whole bunch of benefits. He says, who forgives all of your iniquities, who heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And I believe that, that that's what God, you know, if you were to look back on the script of your life, you would see time after time after time where God has healed you and taken care of you and forgiven you and loved you and bestowed mercy and grace upon your life. And as you start to think about those things, you can't help but be overwhelmed by how good he is. And then you want to open up your soul to him. And he says, and as you do that, he says, your youth will be renewed like the eagles, and, and I love that word renewed, it's to make new, to, it's to restore. And uh, that's the amazing thing about God, is God wants to restore. And, uh, and so this morning, I just want us to put our focus on God in this season of our life, in this moment of time, in this opportunity that we have to seek you this morning for an hour and, and, and set some things aside so we can run after your heart, soul, mind, and strength with, with everything that we have as we run after you, God, that in that, that God would do a renewing, that he would do a refreshing, that he would put some things maybe in your life and show you some things that you've never seen before, that you would remember his past faithfulness that will lead to his future faithfulness in your life. And that this morning, that as we take some time to worship him, that, that we would worship him based on what he has done already and what he's going to do. And uh, there's a statement by, uh, actually by Mark Batterson that is, is probably one of my favorite statements. He says, don't let what's wrong with you keep you from worshiping what's right with God. And, uh, and so this morning, let's not let any distraction, let's not let any any tiredness, let's not let any, uh, you know, thing we have going on later today keep us from what God wants to do right here in this moment where we can bless the Lord because we give him all of our soul. And so would you guys, I don't, I don't really care how you worship. If you want to walk around here, you don't have to stay in a seat. We have some cards up here. If, there's cards in the back of your seat. If you want to write down some prayer requests and have other people pray for you or with you, we want to be able to do all that. But we want to take the next 15 minutes, and we're just going to put on some worship music and invite you to worship however you feel comfortable. You can stand with your arms raised. You can kneel and, and make an altar at your seat. You can walk around. You can walk around this building. We don't really care. This is, this is free reign. This is the only time you get to go in children's ministry because there's no children back there. It's, it's, it's free reign right now because we want to saturate this place with the presence of God. And so uh, I want to pray for us. And, and so this is my Catholic nature. Would you guys all rise in this moment and... Uh, Kyle, do you want to throw some music on there as, as we pray here and get ready to worship God for a couple minutes? God, we love you in this place, and God, we're so thankful that we live in a place where we can come together in, in a public forum and magnify your name. God, lift you up, cry out to you with, with everything that we have. God, I, I pray that, that in these moments that as we worship and we pray to you, God, that, that you would hear our cries, that you would hear our voice. God, that you would come down from heaven and meet us individually, that you would speak to us, that you would reveal your great and glorious works among us, God, that we wouldn't miss a moment with you, that we would, we would let go of any distraction. We'd let go of any apprehension, God, that we would recognize that this is a safe place. And this is a place where we can seek you with all that we have. And God, so we invite your Holy Spirit. We invite your presence to permeate every single nook and cranny of this place. God, we, I, I know for myself, and I'm just going to take liberty here, I, we invite you to intersect in every nook and cranny in our life. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we love you and we worship you here. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Let's worship God.